Greetings. I have much uh, comment from uh, Papuan groups. Uh, they are concerned. Uh, they told me about uh, Papuans do not belong to uh, the Jewish haplogroup group or they cannot able to trace their DNA to Semitic origin. But uh, first of all, let me tell you something. Um, today, even uh, there is no specific Jewish DNA confirmed in Israel Jewish population because every Jews in Israel has the different haplotypes. Uh, remember Noah had uh, three sons, Shem, Ham, and Yafet. Uh, Category European, African, and Asian, or either you can say um, Caucasian, Negroid, or the Mongoloid. Uh, but this is not a specific identity of Africa, Asia, or Europe, even Russia and Europe, actually. Uh, so uh, you don't have to worry about it, but uh, let me tell you that which is the most specific Papua New Guineans DNA, it is called Q1B. And uh, when it is coming to the Q haplogroup, um, it is uh, in the Y chromosome, the Y DNA, which is a paternal DNA, uh, Q DNA um, is the mostly in Eastern Europe, Ukraine. Uh, Scandinavia and uh, Russia and uh, Anatolia which is in Turkey and all the way down to the land of Israel uh, this is a small portion of a Q haplotype and the haplogroup Q Q1B is with the Papuans so it is possibility um, that trace between the Papuan haplogroup into the uh, Ashkenazi Jewish group. Um, it is confused because of when you see a Papuans, they are dark uh, complexion. It is uh, most likely um, you can tell the um, African, but it is a misconduct because of a, a nature of a skin color is not about in DNA. So um, um, ethnicity, ethnicity can be changed. The, the color pigmentation can be changed when where you live in a condition of at atmosphere. And uh, uh, Papuans are not a Hamitic groups at all. So um, um, when it comes to um, the DNA and um, uh, you see the traces back to the uh, Papua New Guinea and the Gogo Gogodara tribe which is confirmed through the um, 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 the ten lost tribes of Israel and uh, many um, aspects uh, coming back to 
the, the Messianic Judaism or the influence of a Jewish influence in, in the um, um, Christianity and um, um, Q1B is the sign of Papuans but also Q1B1 is um, uh, Central Asian DNA and Indo-Iranian DNA, Q1B1, so that uh, Q1B1 was prob probably not one of the original lineages of Proto-Indo-European speakers of the Pontic Caspian steppe since it is almost completely absent from Balto Slavic and Germanic countries. Nevertheless, it is reasonable to assume that Q1B1 was indigenous to the Ural Mountains, which is uh, uh, close to the Kazakhstan or Central Asia, and was observed by the Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European there during the Bronze Age, either during the Sintashta or Andoronobo culture, then spread with the Indo-Aryan to Indian, Iran, and the Near East, Q1B1, probably settled in the Levant at the same time as R1A-Z93 as both lineages are found among the Jews and the Lebanese and in places historically colonized by the Phoenicians. Autosomal analyses have confirmed that all Levantine people Jews, Lebanese, Palestinian, Syrians, passes about 0.5% of Northeast Asian Mongoloid admixture since this population lack Mongoloid mitochondrial DNA. The presence of Northeast Asian admixture can only be explained by the 2% of Q1 B1 among Levantine men, the only paternal lineage of Mongoloid origin in the region. So that um, it is the Q1B1 is originated in the area of Levantine. The analysis confirmed that uh, the one of the signs of Papuans also links to the, the Jewish uh, haplotype. So you don't have to worry about um, um, some have a question does the um, um, Q um, Papuans are uh, far away from a Semitic DNA. But why I say that because there are three groups in the Jewish haplotype today in Israel. Um, J1 is confirmed in the Levitical uh, lineage. J2 is Davidic lineage and I1 and I2 is a Semitic lineage as well. But the, the those who are from E1B, these are the African Hamitic DNA. Uh, E1B, 1B is 45% uh, or 40% of a Jewish populations today, but there is no link to J and an I. But this is an independent uh, the haplotype that they are, are claiming to be the Semitic origin. Uh, a, B, D, E include E1B, 1B is a Jewish, 
but E1B1A is a West African Bantu uh, uh, population in Sub-Saharan Africa. But E1B1A and E1B1B are twins, and uh, the possibility of E1B1A and E1B1B are both supposed uh, to be both equal to the um, um, Jewish haplotype, but the um, um, it's only confirmed by E1B1B today. But also there is R1A and R1B, uh, another haplotype from uh, uh, Indo-European, and this is the third largest Jewish haplotype in Israel, and. Uh, R1A and R1B are the derived from the Indo-European, Indo-European side in, in to the Russia and to Western Europe. And also there are a largest population in uh, uh, those are the Ashkenazi Jewish population, and also confirmed the uh, R1B is a. Uh, um, Northeastern Nigerian tribe called the, the Hausa tribe from Africa. Uh, they are purely Africans, but uh, their DNA is not African DNA, but the uh, Indo European DNA on paternal lineage. So there are the multiple differences in the Jewish lineage. But since the um, uh, pursuing in the messianic heritage over uh, Papuan Jewish population, that I would say seek in the kingdom of God in Yeshua HaMashiach. And uh, even though that the, the Jewish population, how you are uh, being the identified because of the Bunai Manasseh, the Bunai Manashe from Eastern uh, Indi India, um, they do not have a Semitic DNA, but they are the Japhet. Um, they are not the Jewish DNA at all, but the group of a population practicing the Judaism that Israeli government confirmed they are part of the lost ten tribe of remnant that they confirmed to be they are the Jew. So what I'm saying is if Papuans practically practice the um, Messianic Judaism just like a uh, Lemba tribe, the Lemba tribe from Zimbabwe in Africa, they have the uh, J1 haplotype. That's the, they believe that ancestral uh, Jewish lineage came from Sana in, in Yemen, in the Indian Ocean, uh, through Mozambique into Zimbabwe, or either the Portuguese. Um, came into interior after 1492, after the Inquisition, mixture into uh, Zimbabwean, because there was no such a country between Zimbabwe and Mozambique. Um, Mozambique was colonized by Portuguese 500 years, so that purely Portuguese intermarry into local population in Mozambique and um, they came back with a purely Portuguese they possibly got some you know African DNA in both sides European DNA in African side so after 1492 that the Jews in Iberia could they 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 wouldn't confirm their DNA uh, at that time, but the, the, those 
uh, Iberians who were the Jewish descendant uh, converted into Catholic and split it into all the uh, there was no difference between Spaniard or the Portuguese at the time. It's called Iberian. So that all the, the, the this indigenous population and the colonized nations are mixed into these people without knowing it. So um, uh, most likely that the Papuans uh, came from the, the what I confirm with you is a Q1B branch. Um, also, the Native Americans uh, are found in a six percent uh, Jews, which can only be haplogroup Q. The haplogroup Q is a small group that uh, all Jewish Q fall under the Q1B branch. So do not worry about it, just to go for it and practice Messianic Jewish um, the kingdom of God in Yeshua HaMashiach is closer to you. So um, um, I just let you know, um, just be confident about yourself, pursue what you needed to seek to be who you are in the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless.